this is exercise 2.1 10th sum prove that two consecutive positive integers are always coprime okay prove that two consecutive positive integers two consecutive i already told you continue consecutive means it's continuously following continuously if two means then three five means then six so eight means then nine okay it continues in followingly continuous uh, numbers okay so prove that two consecutive positive integers are always coprime always coprime you have to know coprime what is coprime see two numbers are coprime if we are saying two numbers are coprime if their highest common factor is one okay if their highest common factor is one so the hcf should come one okay then then only we can say that two numbers are coprime okay for example see i will say i'll i'll teach you some examples here see uh, 35 and 34 okay see these two are continuously following numbers okay 35 is always uh, bl dividend and 34 divisor into 1 plus remainder 1 okay we are, how how we are finding the highest common factor by using the euclid division algorithm we can find like this see 34 into 1 plus remainder 1 so 34 here so the remainder comes here okay 1 into 34 plus 0 so the what is the highest common factor of these two numbers 1 what is the highest common factor of these two numbers 1 see uh, like like same see i am taking 5 and 5 and 6 6 1 5 are sorry 5 into 1 5 into 1 5 into 1 plus 1 next 5 here 1 into 5 plus 0 so the highest common factor of 6 5 and 6 1 so when we are saying the two numbers are co-prime when two numbers are co-prime the highest common factor is always 1 highest common factor is always 1 uh, whatever number you can take see here um, 8 and 9 ok uh, 9 inside 8 into 1 plus 1 so 8 here 1 into 8 plus 0 so the highest common factor is 1 like that see two numbers are co-prime if their highest common factor is 1 uh, I'll tell you uh, one more number okay uh, see now i'm taking 18 and 35 okay 18 and 35 see here 35 inside 18 outside 18 into 1 plus remaining 17 so 18 here 17 here mm, 17 into 1 equal plus remaining 1 next uh, 17 here 1 into 17 is 7 1 plus 0 see 35 18 into 1 is 17 and 18 is 17 into 1 plus 1 17 is 1 17 so 17 remaining 0 so 1 is the highest common factor so these two numbers are also co-prime but it's not consecutive numbers it's a it's 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 natural numbers but it's not consecutive because consecutive numbers means it should continuously coming okay that 18 means 19 35 36 like that but it's not consecutive but it is positive integers but these two numbers are also co-prime okay okay see here prove that the two consecutive uh, positive integers are always co-prime two numbers are co-prime when two numbers are co-prime if their highest common factor is one i already told you if, if 
two numbers are co-prime, the highest common factor should be 1. Okay, see you know the prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 19, 23, 29, etc. What is prime number? See, the prime number uh, is uh, divisible by uh, 1 and itself. Okay, so 1 and itself. See, 1, 2 is 2. 1, 3 is 3. See, if 2, 2 by 2 is 1 or 2 by 1 is 2. Okay. The number is divisible by 1 and itself or the number is it's, uh, divisible by itself and 1. Okay. So, these are all the prime numbers. You Now, you, you have understood what is co-prime. Okay. Co-prime means the highest common factor should be 1. Okay. See here, I am taking... Uh, let n and n plus 1 be the positive integers what we should prove two consecutive positive integers continuous numbers okay so n is my first number and n plus 1 is second number see if n is 2 means here 2 plus 1 3 so 2 and 3 see if n is 4 means 4 plus 1 5 4 and 5 if n is 10 means 10 plus 1 11 so, n and n plus 1 be the positive integers. n and n plus 1 be the positive integers. So, here uh, the greater number is the dividend and the small number is divisor. So, n plus 1. See, n plus 1 inside, n outside. 1 n's are n. So, 0 and, the, and we will bring the 1 here. So, the remainder is, the remainder is 1. So, the remainder is 1. Then the divisor came dividend, the remainder came uh, divisor. Okay, so uh, n inside, 1 outside, 1 n's are n. Okay, the remainder is 0. So here 0. So what is the quotient n and the remainder is 0. So what is the factor, highest common factor? We got the remainder 0. So the highest common factor is 1. So, the highest common factor of n and n plus 1 is 1. So, if the uh, highest common factor is 1 means the two positive integers are co-prime. So, we proved to prove that the two consecutive positive integers are always co-prime. So, n and n plus 1 is always co-prime if the highest common factor is 1. So, we got the highest common factor is 1. So, we proved.